Some young woman was set about devouring all the food she had ordered despite the strange look she was getting. Now that was an appetite to be reckoned with. It took her under three minutes to polish the lot off. Fuck me. Th under three minutes to completely wipe out all those meals that, uh, for a lot of people, would be one meal. Christ. Then, looking not at least a bit sated, she picks up the menu and right back up. Was she seriously going to order more? I was st starting to take an interest in this young lady. There might be a story here. He could have a series of headlines in his mind. Woman in hell is 30,000 calories in three minutes. <laughs> this is equivalent to 100 pieces of shortcake, 300 glasses of milk, or enough steak and rice to feed about 30 people. Fucking <laughs> <Can> hell. <laughs> No, he needed something more punch. Food for thought, an expose on obesity. No, that's not good. He wasn't writing a fashion magazine here. A gourmet day in Shibuya. That was it. He'd be able to whip something up if he went without with the foodie angle. Well, I got up from a seat. That's pretty impressive, he said the hungry diner. You always eat that much. <laughs> the young woman glared back at him. Not always, she said. Suddenly, tension filled the air. Oops, was that way too bad of me? Yes, it was. I mean, she is a young lady, after all. Maybe I should change up my approach. Who the heck are you, anyway? <laughs> she asked. I'm a freelancer writer. I was hoping I could do an interview with you, real quick. You want to interview me? The suspicion was playing on her face. I do! I mean, girls all over the world worry about their diets, right? I hear that, yeah. So would you be willing to share your secret or your technique or whatever for how you eat without gaining fat? What, me? Sure, I mean, look at the figure you're maintaining despite eating all this food. Oh god, she's happy about that. The owner's expression brightened up. Oh, you notice, that's actually a lot that goes into it all. Yeah? The basic thing though is to eat 10 meals a day. We're going to struggle to keep his jaw from dropping. Ten meals a day? She flashed him a chubby cheeked grin. <laughs> you don't know how diets work, do ya? She chuckled. Eating only one or two meals a day, that's what'll make you fat. You gotta space out your food uh, space your food out into smaller portions throughout the day. That's the fundamentals of dieting right there. Right, but what happened to the smaller portions part? Rico had to bite his tongue. Ah, I see, he said. Any, any other pro diet tips you could share? Well, for the basics, I'd, I'd say always drink protein instead of tea, yeah? Drink protein all day? Seriously? Once again, it took all of Mikawa's willpower to keep his thoughts to himself. Let's see, what else? Oh, there's this stuff about. There's this stuff called Burning Hammer, too, but. She off a little wince. Wait, they are perked up. Did you just say Bernie Hammer? Oh, you know it. I've heard of it anyway, he replied. He decided he'd better keep, uh, better off keeping his plans to head to the sales demo a secret. There's a sales demo later on, if you're interested. Was there she will, uh, as she will read his thoughts. Though, full disclosure, I am working for them right now. Challenging an advertisement. There was a more detailed map for the venue included. What a stroke of luck! Now he didn't have to rely on the crummy map in the project proposal anymore. He'd have no trouble finding the venue with the, with the building's various floors all broken down for him. Actually, I gotta go back to work. I mean, get back to work? She's meant to be. She's meant to be chasing. Oh fuck. She's meant to be chasing after that bloody uh, thing that escaped. Sure, thank you so much for your time. I'm gonna head back and finish my copy there. I oh, left the cafe and anyway, went back to his laptop. He'd gotten some new information on the Burning Hammer sales demo, but he'd also lost some more time. His famous camera piece still wasn't finished. It was gonna be near a near thing to get it done before the sales demo started. 
Yet, yeah, instead of returning to his writing, he got out a cell phone. What if Toyama had gotten another of his crazy ideas? If he'd tried to hang himself again, the thought had been too worried to work on his copy. 